Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Today is February 29, 2020, and it's just worth it to see if in the next couple years when this one will come back because this is leap year. We get an extra day today, and so what better way to do it than do a motivating video on a Saturday as I go pick up my daughter. She had danced today for our Jen's Dance Academy. They're getting ready to go down to St. Louis, I believe it is, and um, the dance group is going to be going down and competing in St. Louis in about a week and a half, I believe. So, anyway, today is, like I said, Saturday. It is leap year. It is the 29th of February, 2020. Last day of the month. Hope everybody's having a great month so far. Hope you guys basically finished your month, you know, knowing you're important. Finished your weeks for your sales strong or whatever you're doing for business or jobs or schooling or whatever it is. All right, let's get on with it now today. Today, what is it you want to do today? I mean, it's a little cold outside, but the sun is out. You know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot going on. And you should make use of that time. I am heading to pick up my daughter, so we're going to make use of our time today. There's a couple of live videos we're going to do because we got a couple of products they asked uh, my daughter to try out. And so she'll be doing a live video with that. And I'm going to start going ahead and once again sound deaden my Jeep. Um, as you know, remember my old Jeep, I sound deadened it with a certain material and so I'm starting to order that stuff again so that we can go ahead and start getting this particular Jeep sound deadened because we've gotten a lot of places to go to uh, for this year and, and one of the main places we're going to start out with on the 26th, 27th, 28th is the Mud Flaps. It's the world's largest trucking show down in Louisville, Kentucky. So we're going to be heading down there. So. One of the things you guys don't normally see from me is the trucking side of what I do. And I'm going to be down showing you some of the most beautiful trucks. The most beautiful over-the-road rigs. You know, they're going to be down there. There's all going to be all kinds of crazy stuff down here that I love. And in fact, I even get to speak on stage um, at this particular event. Now, when I speak on stage, I don't video to, I don't go live when I'm on stage and everything. Uh, just because those are for whoever else to use. But I am honored they've asked us to speak and we get to speak on stage. I get to speak with uh, Rich Ellerman. So him and I will be actually speaking two days in a row, believe it or not. We'll be speaking on Thursday and on Saturday at the event. So what does this mean? Why do I tell you this? Well, it took me a long time before I ever, you know, got to get on stage. And a lot of people, like in my hometown, you know, it's really funny because if you go off of what people know in your hometown, it's funny because... Their idea of who you are, where you come from, is always going to be different than the places that you go to. The Marines that you serve with, the military service, the college that you're at. And every time you come back home, everybody knows you for being the younger you. But in order to expand your knowledge, expand yourself, in order to live outside the box, you have to do things outside your hometown. Uh, one of the things I always tell everybody is there are people in my hometown that have never been to Missouri. Now, why is that funny? It's funny, and I know a lot of people that watch me and they see these videos and they see my YouTube videos and everything else, they don't understand that I only live a couple blocks from Missouri. Like, literally, you cross the bridge and you're in Missouri. Right now, if I were to take a right, uh, within five blocks, I would be in Missouri. Why? Because you just crossed the bridge. But there's so, so many people that are so close-minded that are so unwilling to think outside the box, they don't even leave their hometown. When I was a kid, I, I admit, I've always been the person that traveled a lot. I've always been the person that liked to go different places. And I right away found out where Menden, Ursa, Pace, and Liberty, all these different little small towns, they would come into Quincy. But I learned to also go to those small towns. I met a lot of great friends in those places, a lot of great people in all these little small towns and all these high schools and everything else. And then as I wrestled and ran track and field, played basketball, soccer, uh, you know, the different events we did, you know, we traveled for sports. So what am I trying to tell you? One of the events that you can do for you and your family and your kids is go somewhere different that you've never been to. Do something different. Go to a place you're not used to. Make a food that you've never had. Try something different in order to think and live outside the box. If you don't, your life will become drama, it'll become boring, it'll become the same old, same old, you know? I see so many people wishing for the weekends oh my god i can't wait for the weekend so friday gets there you still got to work on friday the weekend gets there you go out with your friends you do your thing on saturday all of a sudden you gotta start prepping on sunday to get ready for the work week 
you missed the majority of the week. All because you wanted to have fun on, um, you were looking forward to the weekend. Well, if you start living your life instead of waiting on the weekend and do something different with your life, you know, you don't have to make big changes. Go to a new Chinese restaurant. Go to a new place, okay? The reason why I say this, so many people are stuck in their same old, same old, their same old routine. You know, one of the things, and you hear me say it all the time, that what I think is I learned in the Marine Corps. You never take the same way home. You never take the same direction. You never go to the same speed. You never go the same mileage or distance. The reason why is because somebody in, well, in the military, they touch you because you never know who's watching you. You don't want to get an ambush and stuff like that. But I think it makes a lot of sense for where you live at. You know, you take the same old road every single day. You take the same way to get somewhere. Why don't you change up? Go down a different road for a change. I know that sounds weird, but you know what? If you break your patterns, you break your habits, eventually it'll start leading to bigger, better things. And you can do a lot more with your kids. If all you do on the weekends is stay home and watch TV or whatever, you know, why don't you learn to make cook just bake cookies. It doesn't take too long to bake cookies. If you don't have an oven, use a microwave. If you don't have that, you know, do something different. And I say this so that and think that you don't have options. You know, so many people, I hear them all the time, oh, I'm bored, there's nothing to do. Oh, woe is me, woe is me. I live on the blue train. You know, no, you got to get off that because there's so much many things you can do. Like, we're coming up here in Quincy. I think we got the St. Patrick, Patrick's Day Parade coming up. We got the Dogwood Parades coming up. We have different events in the park. Hannibal's got an event going on like almost every other weekend. Quincy's got everywhere from the Arts Center to Quincy Little Commun uh, Little Theater. You know, do, why aren't you doing something different? You know, we have all these little, little towns, little restaurants, little breweries. You know, if you like to drink beer and stuff, go to a new brewery. Go to a, go to a different place. Sample a home brew instead of getting your same Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light all the time. Try a home brew somewhere, okay? Try something that somebody makes that's different. These are all ideas I can give you, but only you can accept if you want to go do something different or not. Because like I said, sometimes people love their routines. Why do they love their routines? Because their routines are safe. They are comfortable with what they do. They're comfortable with what they say, think, and hear. So they don't ever want to try anything new. Otherwise, it would take them out of their comfort zone. Well, if you don't get outside your dang comfort zone, you're never going to learn anything new. You're never going to learn. I was looking up something the other day, and this goes along with what I'm telling you about. Butterfinger. Something as simple as a Butterfinger, as of February of 2019, changed all their flavors. Butterfinger changed their flavors. You know why they changed their flavors and everything else? Nope, so I looked it up. Turned out, Butterfinger got bought out by a company in Europe and they decided to get rid of all the saturated fats, all the sugars, and they wanted to use real chocolate and everything else. So now the Butterfinger you're eating today will no longer taste like the Butterfinger that you got used to growing up. And I found out there's a lot of foods and stuff like that. Now why is that different? Because like I said, things are always changing in your life. You might not know what it is, but it is changing, okay? So what you, all you gotta do today is be great, and know this, you're awesome. Have a great day. We will be going live later. We got um, a couple fun projects. I got my stuff from Second Skin Audio. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff in the Jeep. Grace is gonna show you some stuff with some jewelry and everything. And we're gonna have a great day today. So anyway, I look forward to hearing from y'all. I look forward to talking to y'all. Right now I'm picking up my daughter. She had her dance stuff. And now I'm picking her up. And I will talk with everybody soon. Bye now.